the divine child in the manger, the crosses, the crown, and conquering evil. Be sure to spend priceless time each day meditating on Christ's sacred passion. He is so in love with you. There are countless ways to approach meditating on Christ's sacred passion and on our redemption. Why meditate on Christ's sacred passion? Doing so is an excellent way to become more intimate with the love of your eternal life, a way that is very pleasing to Jesus. Our Savior longs for your love in return. Spend time with him every day, contemplating on his love for humanity in general and for you in particular. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, Empty your soul by recollection. Purify it by an act of contrition. Then fill it with God. Kneel before the Divine Child in the manger and worship our Lord and God with your angel guardian by your side. Notice the ways in which baby Jesus is already pouring forth his love upon humanity. Already the divine infant, who is not even able to walk, has begun the journey along the way of the cross. You, too, can begin following him along the way of sacrificial love. You should. You must. Holiness is your destiny. Give yourself to Jesus completely. Love him and honor him all the moments of forever. The Manger and a Crown of Thorns There is no practice more profitable for the entire sanctification of the soul than the frequent meditation of the sufferings of Jesus Christ. St. Bonaventure Join our infant Savior on the first Christmas day. Kneel before him lying in the manger, his newborn sacred body cradled by a bed of straw. The straw intersects and forms many crosses beneath his little back. Three decades later, his back was brutally shredded at a pillar, and the countless lashes intersected to form crosses all over his sacred body. Jesus was then mocked and crowned with thorns, its branches and thorns intersecting to form so many more crosses. To complete his mission, our kind and gentle Jesus was placed not in a manger filled with straw crosses, but was placed on and then nailed to a cross, his pure and sacred body covered with reparation, with bloody crosses. From there, he poured out love and mercy as arrogance confronted God's sacrificial love, the most powerful force in the universe. Two parallel roads. Satan followed Jesus, but not along the way of sacrificial love. He traveled along the opposite path the way of self-love, which seems to head in the same direction, but it is actually the way to eternal perdition. God's sacrificial love is the most powerful force in the universe. His sacrificial love is so strong that the bonds formed by it and the vows proclaimed in its name cannot ever be broken, and the very gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Allow God's sacrificial love to bind you and the souls of all those you pray for to Jesus on the cross. Fight evil with good. Evil was defeated by a humble and gentle man covered with crosses who offered and continues to offer us love, forgiveness, affection, redemption, sanctification, eternal salvation, and 
his most holy mother. Satan accompanies each one of us from his road as we follow Jesus along the way of the cross, which is the way to God and the way to eternal salvation. Be sure you remain on Christ's road, the way of sacrificial love, and stay off the way of self-love, which will lead to your soul's eternal damnation. Always fight evil with good by living, loving, serving, forgiving, and patiently suffering in imitation of Christ as you spend yourself. The crosses of redemptive suffering carved into your flesh as you hold nothing back so that together with Jesus, you can offer our eternal Father everything for his greater honor and glory and for the sake of all. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Saint John Bosco. To learn more about your vital and irreplaceable holy apostolate of reparation and Almighty God, the Father of mercies, work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders. And he still means it. <laughs>